Hello, beautiful souls, fellow worker coming to you from a treehouse. So I'm going to give you the top three things I'm struggling with that I've noticed as I move back to Ontario to integrate back into the South. <laughs> Number one, concrete. I did not know the pains that concrete could bring to a body. Now where I was living, there weren't a lot of sidewalks. Some of the roads were paved and some were not paved. And the rest of the time you're walking around on packed dirt, gravel, or tundra. Upon returning and having to hoof it around on the concrete, with a backpack full of food, catching the bus. Wow. What a change for me. It was painful. <laughs> Had to take lots of salt baths. Many of you may not even notice this as you're used to it. But it was a transition period for me. I gained some weight over the past few years and the pressure on my knees. I really prefer walking in nature. So I'm that guy you'll see in the city who's walking along the little grass patches in between the sidewalk. Yep, I'm that guy. Number two, cars. If you've watched some of my earlier videos, you can check out the Midnight Sun Summer Series that tells you all about life in Iqaluit in short videos over 20 days as I was chasing the sun for the summer solstice. In a couple of those videos, I talked about what was different in terms of my body and how I experienced the North. And one of those was cars, you know, not having a highway. The average speed in Iqaluit is 30 kilometers an hour. There are a few places you might be able to get up to 50, but then those roads aren't paved and as you may know, I was driving a 2000 Toyota Corolla and it couldn't really handle the dirt roads at any kind of high speed. But what I realized is my body couldn't really handle it either. Do you ever think about how unnatural it is to propel your body down a highway? We think of it as natural because it's an everyday part of our life. But when you haven't engaged in that activity, it can be quite jarring and I was really surprised. So what I noticed here is walking on sidewalks when there's a very little distance between the sidewalk and the road and the cars would come spinning by. Oh, like I would feel it in my whole body. Like I know they're not gonna hit me. I know they're just driving along and people do it every day. But when you're not around it, it I could really feel it in my body as they swooshed by me. I think that's part of the way I got better when I was living in a more remote area. I encourage you to try it. Number three, people. The number of people. The complexity of people. There are obviously way more people where I am now than where I was living in Iqaluit, which has a population of about 8,000. It's not that people are bad and I don't like people. I actually really like people. I'm an extrovert. I love conversation. You know, I'll talk to you in line at the fast food store. Strike up a conversation. Yep, I'm that guy. I love connection. But what I noticed in coming back is things have really changed after the past few years. I kind of think of it this way. I feel like there are some people who really thrived over the past few years. And then there are people who have suffered more. And I'm a person who can really pick up energy. And I really feel people struggling. And it's tough to see. 
So as a person who's sensitive to that, you know, going to a mall now for me is quite the experience. I kind of have to, I don't know, put a force field around me, like, and protect myself. And what I really liked about Ikaliwi, well, it's twofold. It's the sparseness of it, but it's also the people. The indigenous people, Inuit, they're connected to the land. So even though there's a lot of intergenerational trauma, being connected to the land grounds you. So upon my return to Ontario, I seem to love nature more than anything right now. That's my update. Please check out my channel for shorts on nature in Ontario as I try to stay connected to Mother Earth with my return to the city. It's a challenge, but I'm integrating. I appreciate you all so much coming along with me on this journey. Please subscribe if you like my content. Please share this with your friends. The channel right now is a mix of Arctic videos, nature videos, and I do have some ideas about keeping the Nunavut theme going in the future. I love to read your comments. I respond fairly quickly. Thank you from my heart.